right, good morning, happy Saturday. Good old work on the weekend. This morning, I start my truck on and my transmission started shifting real hard. And then it stopped shifting hard, so I'm gonna be pulling the transmission pan, changing the filter and the gasket and the fluid just to kind of see how it's looking. Um, I know I was pretty low on the fluid on transmission fluid anyway, so that might have been the problem. It just was hemming up. That's 260,000 miles on her, so we're gonna be pulling these bolts, and I got this nice big belly pan to catch anything. And then my good old shop light. Things a beaut. I'm not gonna need that yet, so let's see how I want to pull that out. That's gonna have to come out that way. I'm gonna have to pull that shifter cable bracket off because that, yeah, that's gonna hem that up. And then I think I gotta pull the heat shield off on this other side over here. You can probably see it going up over towards the that's right there. So I'll go over our grab some tools real quick figure out what it's gonna take to pull this off and that looks like a torx oh, that's gonna suck all right giving you a pause one second back in I'll try these out oh no way I got it on the first try look at that it's a t40 Alright, I gotta grab my ratchet. Alright. Make sure it's going the right way. Might be dropping some dirt on you. I apologize. Yeah, dropping dirt. This is definitely a lot easier to work on without four wheel drive. A lot more room up here to get the shit. <laughs> if I can get that wrench on there. What's up, babe? side right there and yeah I should pull that shield off and 213s I think I gotta put you down again and we'll, we'll get those off next. Alright, busting out the air ratchet. I'm 
not going to be able to do that, so... I gotta go grab me a short extension. my little itty bitty at I know I got a little itty bitty in here somewhere ah, this will just have to be enough got the parts coming for this no more parts coming she gonna be ready soon BBL baby speed I got a uh, for the NX I got uh, my MSD window switch my relays and everything I'm gonna need to get that NX going so the only thing after that once I get that once I actually get it running then I'll send the ECU to get a tune, hopefully anyway. I don't know for sure if I'll be able to get a tune for it or not. And there she goes. Keep the bolts where they go. Put those over there. Yeah, it's gonna make it a lot nicer. Well, hopefully I don't have to drop the exhaust. I shouldn't. This sh little gap should allow me enough room to slip it up over. And get set up to start catching some fluid. Alright, we're going to start pulling the bolts. She's going to start dripping. I'm being very gentle with these. I'm not trying to force them out or nothing. I'm trying to get you a better view here. Come on. Get on there. Trying to grow some grass. Roto tilled it and I didn't get enough seed. I need 50 pounds of seed. And I only bought five. Isn't that funny? You can see where it's growing. And then where it's not growing. <laughs> uh, learning how to make grass. It's always fun. This pan's on there pretty good. I don't know if this has ever... This might have been serviced before. I can't say that it hasn't because I don't know. But we're going to find out just how bad it is in there 
in this good old pan. Hopefully I got the right tranny filter and gasket. I think I did. This is what they consider a deep pan. They have a deep plan, pan and a flat pan. And I'm gonna have to grab my big extension. Set me down for a few seconds. All right. Now let's get this one. Now let's get this one. I'm gonna have to wobbly that one. I might have to wobbly it. Yeah. Throw the wobble on it. Sorry, it's hard to hold my phone and film at the same time and put tools on my gun, so bear with me here. Alright, a wobbly gonna get it. Just making sure these are loose enough so that when I crack this side, it'll pour out and not fall. <clears throat> but either way, that big ass belly pan won't catch it even if it does fall. Trying to get this done for my son's baseball game. We'll see how that goes. And drippy drip. Man, that's dirty. Look at that. Oh, God. That's terrible. I'm just gonna slowly start taking out the bolts. side man that stuff is fucking dirty excuse my language but man I should have done this a lot sooner I did a fluid exchange on it not too long ago but as you can see that ain't good enough sorry you gonna stare at the shifter knob for a second well, that's a shift solenoid, not a knob. <laughs> okay, setting you down. I'm gonna be working on getting these other ones out. Okay. 
Man, this is difficult to do on the ground. Nice thing is it, it's not raining. That's a nice thing. That one. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, that one's gonna fight me, so I'll get the gun. Do you think you can get me some rags? Go lay down. Go. All right, I'm back. I had to get a rag. Ooh, a little sloopy doop. Oh, bolt in the pan, damn it. Oh, man. Just had to do it, didn't I? Knocked my light down. Oh, we got a fire ant. He wants to die. And a squish. Uh, ain't biting nobody now. That's one of the shitty things about working out here in the high desert is you got fire ants galore out here. There ain't no getting away from them either. Alright, I gotta set you down and get these other bolts out. Quit fighting me. Right. That one out. 
Now she's really draining. She's a drainy drain. All right. For the other side. Getting this bolt up in here. Almost got it out. Uh, looks like my vent tube for my transmission's plugged too. To ram a screwdriver in there and clean that. That's not good. Transmission can't vent pressure if it's if it's fucking plugged excuse my language again but man I'm just finding one thing after another let's see you got one more bolt so I'm gonna have to set you down again and I'll be back in a few so I did run into a little issue here so I am gonna have to jack up on the tail shaft here bring the transmission up because I don't have enough room to get past that exhaust and I'm not taking that shit off. That is not happening. You know Chevy, they like to snap. So I'm just going to lift up this transmission a couple inches. And plus I got to change a tranny mount anyway on it. And I got a new one of those too. So i go get some more parts and uh, tools ready and I'll be back with you in a few. Alright, so I got the pan out. I had to kind of force it out a little bit now I'm gonna spray everything down with brake cleaner and give it a clean and then we'll let you look inside the pan and everything when I pull it out there's a the good old bucket here had to pull the filter and then that was a nice little mess too so I'll be making a second part to this video and putting it together so it's not gonna be couple bit of videos i'll just make it one so hopefully everything goes good stay tuned all right now for the inspection damn that fuck look how dirty that filter is damn there's my lost bolt Let's check out the condition of the pan. Actually, that's not too bad. There is quite a bit of clutch material on this here magnet, though. Lots of metal shavings. So we're going to have to take that off. Take all that goody shit with us. Right. This stuff ain't necessarily going to be easy to take off, so you kind of have to uh, force it off of there if you want it off. It's a magnet, and all the magnetic particles are sticking to it. So, this is where most shops would say that it needs to be rebuilt because really it does. It's got 250,000 miles on the transmission. And as you know, things only last so long. I got most of that off of there. I got cleaning off this brake cleaner real quick. Yeah, 
instead of wasting a bunch of brake cleaner and trying to spray out the pan, I'm just going to wipe it with some lint-free microfiber towels. Because realistically, that's probably as good as it's going to get where I'm at. Now let's make a little more sense here. course it would spray back at me. Good old wife. I'm going to use a little bit of brake cleaner to rinse this pan out, though. Just a little bit. As you can see, more better, more better. I might use a little brake clean and clean off the bottom of it though. <laughs> That's why I like these cloths, they don't leave any lint behind. Wiper down. Taking a G to the baseball game. I'm setting you down for a minute. biggest part is you don't want to be getting any foreign particles in the pan so you got to try and clean as much as you possibly can so one second all right gonna do some some wire wheeling in this pan here and first things first I'm gonna scrape some of this crap off See how much it's going to come off. This will hurt. This one thing I don't like about rubber is when it gets too old, it doesn't like to come off. do better if I heat it up. Oh, I like it dead. Nice. Well, whatever won't come off, the wire will take it off.
scraping tool. Most of this is coming off okay. I'm only gonna have to wire wheel some of it. Okay, I think the exhaust side is gonna be the hardest to come off because it gets hotter. that. Alright, let's see what happens here. basically what I'm trying to get that kind of that clean and I like it to be a little abrasive too because then it bites into that rubber a little bit better because rubber gaskets aren't guaranteed they usually do pretty good as long as you don't over torque or under torque the bolts but not everybody gets that lucky my son's baseball game but oh well he's just in t-ball so it's and it's they don't really play much game they just uh kind of let the kids mess around and get the feel for the game they don't really pick a winner or anything so it's just a ability for him to go out and have some fun and Get to learn how to play baseball and yeah, it's a good little deal for him. He likes it. Shit, I guarantee it. 
Oh, I just goobered up my camera. Damn it. I'm gonna fix it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Gone goofed up the camera today. At least my camera doesn't display crappy quality. Gotta at least give it that. The cameraman, probably not so good, but camera's aight. Sounds like she forgot something. Okie dokie. Now, I'll finish with this. some finished product ain't 100 percent perfect but this is ideally how clean you want it because that way you're not risking getting anything in that pan see and i i went a little overboard on cleaning it but i like to be better safe than sorry nice and shiny and ready for some new fluid now I'm gonna, the other thing too, is I gotta make sure this is all gonna bolt up. I just hope this is the right gasket. I'm gonna be pretty pissed off. So far, so good. Okay. Sweet. Alright. Now I gotta go clean off the lower or the side where the pan meets the transmission make sure there's nothing there might have to whip up the whip out the angle grinder to uh that's eh, definitely not five quarts it's only going to be a couple quarts of fluid so i got six quarts of fluid just in case so maybe i'll be able to do some extra uh, all right let's take a gander oh that's good now let me give you a beer only a couple spots
I'm trying my best not to drop dirt in my mouth and in my face. You want to do your best to get every bit of this surface clean. Because if you don't, you definitely don't want to get back under here and redo it. That's one thing I don't like ever doing is having to redo work that's pain in the ass. And it's not even necessarily that this is a pain in the ass. It's just messy work. So, to avoid more messy work, you do better job, ideally. After I'm done with this, I'm gonna I'm gonna brake clean it again and blow. I don't know about air or not, but we'll see. There's a lot of dirt under here, and I don't want to accidentally blow up a chunk of rock or some shit up into here. So I'm just gonna stick with low pressure brake clean. Better safe than sorry. So, we're going to look at how cut her down here. So, that's looking pretty good. Get that little bit of crap off of there. Anything like that will make a leak. You don't want none of that shite. So, yeah. A little bit of fluid over here. No big deal. Okay. Alright, that's starting to ooze. Alright. Now the fun begins. I need to gather up all these bolts. I'm going to clean these bolts too so that there's no foreign particles getting put in from the bolts either. So probably just going to use some gas, gasoline in a little bucket. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Okay. So we got these bolts now. Well, those cleans are going to get anyway. So, what we're going to do... The cool thing is, is these rubber gaskets have a little bit smaller hole. So the bolts will kind of hold hold to it and if you don't want to damage the gasket you got to kind of thread them in just enough yeah okay it's a little tricky so i got to slip it 
past the exhaust and up in there and I don't know how this is going to go so I'm not going to be able to record that while I'm doing it so I'll try to give you guys the best update as possible getting dirt in my mouth mm -hmm. eh. gotta love working on the ground let's see here I think I'm going to put one more in here Wish me luck. Right. The good news is I got it. Now I gotta try and get all these bolts in in a timely fashion. And they got my wife got to my son's game and the other team didn't even show up. Just letting the kids hit the ball till they show up, but I don't even think they're gonna. I'll leave my camera alone, right? And it's starting to get windy. It's exactly what I don't want. putting these bolts in with uh, just running them in what most people do is they just run the fuckers in and they wonder why it leaks well you gotta do somewhat of a sequence on this pan to get a proper bite on everything cause without that I mean it's not it's not going to get tight and sealed if it's not a uniform fit. So, if you want to get all the bolts in by hand, and then, once you get all the bolts in by hand, then you can start to slowly tighten it down. And not before, not after. So... Get up in there. Yeah, baby. It's working out. It's working out, I tell you. Now, I guess the only fun part is, is getting these getting these bolts through the rubber and then into the hole. That's kind of fun. getting somewhere damn it we're getting somewhere okay all righty 
trying to finish getting up the hardest ones first. Get the hard ones first, and then the hard stuff's out of the way. Man, that's going to be a nice clean pan. I'm going to have to mark on it when I serviced it. one thing I do whenever I service a transmission pan is I take a paint pan and I mark on it when I serviced it because that way the next person that looks at it knows that I touched it. I usually like to provide quality work whenever I work on vehicles especially other people's because I don't like it coming back. I want it to be one and done kind of thing, you know. Unless it's an obvious part failure or, you know, something that you can't control. There's only so much you can prevent. But you can sure try to give the best last dip. effort. Oh, the camera switched around on me. Sorry about that. New filter put on, new gasket, Dextron 6 fluid. I mean, this transmission should only work better. The only thing I'm afraid of is getting it all fixed up just for it to stop working. <laughs> This is usually how things go. You get it fixed or you get it serviced and then it takes a shit. I hope I don't have to go through that. We can only hope, right? We can only hope. Great. Where'd my ratchet go? wipe Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab my my gun and gently run these up to snug so that I don't have to do a bunch of hand wrenching. Alright. Oh, a piece of dirt fell in my ear. That's gonna be nice. I'm only going to run these up to where they're just barely snug, and then I'm going to tighten them by hand. Just got to be gentle. Don't let the shit go over on it. in the comments, you know. Fritz! I 
was trying to get this done in a timely manner and don't want to be spending all fucking day on it. I've already been working on it since 10 and it's like noon 30 right now so I mean, it's about a four hour job roughly with the transmission pan or with the transmission mount and stuff like that so it's not too crazy and actually I think yeah because you got to pull the exhaust on this is what the labor says the book says you got to pull the exhaust but who cares about the book man and we can get it without doing all that okay so now this is where I grab the ratchet hopefully I got enough extension for it and I'm gonna go click 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 That's all the Okay, now that all that's done, we're going to make sure our gasket's nice and seated. Nice and seated there. That's nice and seated there. Now we're going to go look at the back of it. Oh, I got so much dirt in my eye right now. you can see it or not but she's all seated Woohoo! now i'm gonna pull that transmission mount out and get my big ratchet and do that so that i can i can get that done out all right. all right I'll be right back okay, yeah. okay that might not work my big ratchet good old snappy that'll get it off I already broke it loose so sorry I jumped ahead a little bit on you oh man this is kind of a pain in the ass must have some loctite on there or something
I win over to the other side. Changes. Give it a good old click.
one day it'll get tight. There we go. Uh, click. So we're starting off, we got 91 trans temp, and I got 257.541. I should put the mileage on the pan too, because I wrote the date. But, I mean, man, this shit's really good. You always want to cycle the gears whenever you drain the fluid and put the fluid back in. I put the new mount on too and then cleaned out that breather tube. I kind of sped up through the video because my phone died right at the end of the last one. So that, that went well. I got five quarts put in it. Uh, I'm gonna let, it shows that it's a little over full on cold. So I'm gonna let, it's also not level. So I'm also gonna let it warm up to temperature. But there's your nice clean pan serviced on the fourth. Nice new motor mount or transmission mount. Big old hefty drive line. Look at that fucking bitch. This thing can tow really good too. Tows vehicles pretty good. Very little complaints with the old truck here. She's a good girl. But that concludes the video today. Of course, I'm going to do a test drive and stuff and whatnot. Probably put it on with this video. If you liked the video, just make sure you give it a good like and give me a subscribe and help the channel grow. You know? And if you're wondering where that came from, my dog decided to give me a kiss in the eye, give me a good old lick, sandpapered my eye with his tongue, and the next morning I woke up with fucking, yeah, you know how that is, if you ever had pink eye before, now you know, no, it's not anything else, the dog licked me in my eye, and then afterwards, good old pink eye, well, thanks for watching everyone, and Hope you have a great rest of the weekend. If you don't see this video this weekend, well, at least you got to watch it. Good old 5.3 Chevy LS. She's a beaut. Yeah, that's also I'll show you guys too uh, before I finish up. All that clutch pack material off the magnet. Mm, shiny, shiny. Now, so realistically, once you change your transmission filter, if you haven't done that before, after you change the filter, if you change your fluid every 30,000 miles, you shouldn't have to do another filter service for at least 100,000. They recommend that anyway on a, filter, on a transmission service, but other manufacturers and stuff recommend all fluid changes and filters and whatnot besides the transmission every 30k so realistically if you want your car to last longer and i know it's gonna cost more but it's gonna save you money in the long run It'd be better to change fluid than it is gonna be transmissions torque converters engines drive lines and differentials and all that stuff so change your fluid 
So every 30K, differential, coolant, brake fluid, power steering, transmission. If you can, get your engine oil in there every 5K or less. That's only benefiting your engine and your, and your car. So if you can't do that, if you can't afford it, well, that's all right. You're just gonna have to be paying for it on the long, on the long end. No big deal. But all right. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.